What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a Q&A. Like I said in my last video, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a QA, and a drop some questions down below and then I also got some questions over there on Twitter. Uh, so I figured I would answer them for you guys because I actually did get a decent amount of questions which I was kind of surprised about. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump right into the questions. Now if I mispronounce any names or anything, just don't hate me, I I'm doing my best. So the first question comes from Ellen Jones. So he said, uh, uh, my question is reach a hundred thousand subs or win a hundred thousand dollars from the lottery now this is actually a pretty good question because i can argue both sides um i would i'm inclined to say a hundred thousand subs because there's nothing that i want more than to grow my channel but if i if i had a hundred grand uh i could probably put that money into you know first off i could probably take a year or more off of school and work to just focus on my channel and i can also use some of that money to um put into marketing my channel you know advertising my channel paying for different people to shout me out stuff like that there's just a ton of different things you can do when you have uh the liquid funds when you have money people like money uh and with that money i could potentially you know get my name out there more in which case that would grow my channel faster um but if it's a hundred thousand loyal active subscribers i would take that over a hundred grand any day uh because that that just you know that's it's my dream to have a huge youtube channel and that would put me way closer to my goal uh so i think i would have to go with that also on youtube we've got flava tugger beast i think he asked a couple of questions so you might see a few of his um but he did say do you prefer android or iphone and i prefer iphone i have an iphone 6s plus right now um and i had an iphone 5 prior to that and i just i like the operating system so much better on apple devices plus i think they just look way way nicer um, i know that some of the androids have better screens better cameras all this stuff and i'm totally aware of that uh, but i just prefer the software mostly on apple devices plus like i said i just feel like they look a lot nicer um, so I'm, i've always just been an apple fanboy i guess you could say okay so he also asked me have you ever been in europe and the answer is no i've never been to europe i live in the united states i live in new york uh, i've been to canada and i've also been to mexico those are the two other countries that i've been to i've never been to europe but i would love to go to paris london just everywhere just i just i want to travel and that's part of the thing with youtube if i could travel as like as a youtuber oh my fucking god that'd be amazing i'd probably never come home but it's it's whatever um so let's move on to the next question so true warlord shout out to you bro thanks for coming through on the channel he said the biggest regret with your youtube channel now this is um a good question i would say I don't really have that many regrets i think um like right now my sub count is a bit inflated for the current uh active subscribers on my channel i don't really regret that um i don't know if that actually hurts my search rankings uh at all i'm not entirely sure um but yeah i don't i don't know i don't really regret pushing my name out there as far as you know twitter advertising and, and instagram and everything um there's not really anything that i do regret i think the one thing that I probably regret the most is not marketing my videos and not uh, pushing my videos on social media sooner. I waited about a year before I started like really trying to get my name out there on Twitter and on Instagram. And I think if I had known what I know now back when I first started, I'd probably have more than 3,000 subs at this point. Or I know I would have more than 3,000 subs at this point. Uh, whether or not I would be a big YouTuber is probably is unlikely. I probably would not be. Um, but I would definitely have more than 3,000 subs so my biggest regret is not looking into getting my name out there because youtube is so competitive and even if you have really great videos there's not a guarantee that they're going to get seen this next question comes from solderay soldy ray uh he said what's your least favorite part of making a video um the least favorite part for me is editing the commentary uh i like playing call of duty i like recording call of duty um i like think i like picking out music for different um videos i like posting like you know little teaser videos on instagram i love reading comments i love I love pretty much everything about YouTube and that's why I have been doing it for two years now obviously if I didn't love it then I wouldn't be able to do this so many times like I've made hundreds of videos so um, but again like I said the least favorite thing for me is editing the commentary because I want the commentary to flow smoothly um, and sometimes I talk for 15 minutes just to have eight minutes of commentary and I have to go through and cut out different pauses different times I say um different times I cough different you know whatever um, so editing takes a long time and that is the least my least favorite part 
but I'm usually happy with the end result, so it's usually worth it. The only problem is fitting it into my schedule. Like, I don't mind sitting down and editing a video. I can get a cup of coffee, I can do whatever, I can eat food while I edit, it's all good. But when I have no free time, then editing is the bane of my existence because I just don't have time to edit a quality video, uh, and that's definitely the worst part about it. Green Inca asked, uh, if you could only play one game for the rest of your life and you had to play it consistently, what would it be? Um, that is a really tough question. I don't know. I, I would like if I could just say Call of Duty and just get a new Call of Duty every year, then I would go with that because I've been doing that for like 10 years now. Um, but the question is worded such that I probably would have to choose one Call of Duty, in which case I'd probably have to go with Modern Warfare 2 simply because I feel like Modern Warfare 2 had the most ways to play the game. I mean, think about it. You had the commando knifing some people just commando knifed and that was their main thing some people sniped with the intervention of the barrett 50 cal those were just the main things that they did you could also noob tube you could also play the game normally with like an assault rifle or with an smg um there were just so many different ways to play that game and i think uh it's my favorite call of duty so i guess i would have to say that just because every time you play every time you get into a match it's kind of different a little bit i mean most games play similar but uh you know it's pretty fun, and I like Call of Duty, so I would probably have to go with Modern Warfare 2, although that does sound fucking terrifying. I don't want to play that game for the rest of my life. Sion Reese asked, uh, what is your favorite song? Now, this is actually impossible for me to answer because every fucking 10 days I have a new favorite song. Um, as far as favorite albums go, you can see a few of my favorite albums over here. I have four of them on the wall right now. We have, you can't see it up, up top, but it's uh, Reasonable Doubt by Jay-Z, Graduation by Kanye West, uh, Take Care by Drake and then Logic's first album Under Pressure and of course there's plenty more but they're really expensive but um, that just gives you kind of an idea of the music I listen to and that's the closest I can get to what my favorite song is. The homie Big Reed asked how did the handle Omniarch originate? Now this actually is um, it took me a little while to come up with Omniarch it's an original like thought of mine I didn't look up like cool YouTube names like I thought of this myself um, previously to this I had a channel that I barely uploaded on at all called beach owl gaming and I thought it was cool because I could use an owl as a mascot plus I'm into the beach vibe that's why you have like these palm trees here and there's over on this wall there's a bear sitting on a beach I just like the whole vibe um, but uh, I didn't like the branding for that channel I thought it was corny and childish and stupid and I was like fuck that I need to think of an actual good unique name uh, that people can associate to me only uh, because you know when you think of some of the most famous Call of Duty YouTubers they have a unique name I mean T Martin that you think immediately of, of T Martin you don't think of something else you know beach owl you just think of an owl or a beach or whatever it doesn't stick you know uh, nade shot is cool it's 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 a grenade and it's a shot it's 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 unique to him and you think of nade shot another one was X Jaws X Jaws was super super simple short and easy to remember and that's where the X comes from also I was going to do just Omni Arc, but that was taken so I put X Omni Arc because of X Jaws uh, but Omni Arc basically what I thought of it took me like three days to think of it um, it was just the prefix Omni from like omnipotent omnipresent and it basically just means uh, of all basically and arc which is like you know like monarch or oligarch or whatever um, and it basically means the greatest so loosely and this is not entirely true but omniarch basically means like the greatest of all um, and that, that is not how it would translate uh, that's just kind of like a really that's how I came up with it that's how my brain thought of it um, so I thought it kind of sounded cool omniarch it's like two different syllables it's simple to remember it's kind of unique I thought of it on my own and I just ran with it I'm not entirely sure if I would keep it today. Like, if I could change it, I might. Uh, but I'm, I'm sticking with it. I don't care. I'm just going to leave it. I think it's... Uh, people know me as that now, so it's fine. Um, let's move on to the next question. All right, so we're over now on Twitter. Um, the at is at rxvrei i don't know how to say that but they said why did you start youtube who was your inspiration the first call of duty youtuber that i ever watched was wings of redemption he also now he goes by jordy jordan um his channel has i i actually don't know if he's still doing youtube i've been too busy to even check his channel but he's been dying for years now like as far as his channel stats go um 
but yeah he was the first Call of Duty YouTuber I ever watched back in Modern Warfare 2 I thought his knowledge of guns was amazing I thought his play style was similar to mine but he was just really good at it he was really knowledgeable about the game and I saw that he was making like six figures by being a legitimate director and I was like fuck dude I could totally do that and then on top of that we have people like Woody's Gamertag extras I mentioned before uh, just all those people T Martin of course you know he's been around forever shout out to T Martin um, Nade Shot also Nade Shot like really pushed me to like take my channel seriously you know I made channels before about Call of Duty based off of my inspiration from those guys but Nate when I saw Nate shot like how successful he was I was like holy shit dude I have to do it like I, I just I I feel like I could be I could be a Nate shot in my own unique way and I feel like people would enjoy that so those are the people who inspired me the most uh, and hopefully I can be the inspiration for the next generation or wave of youtubers who knows at wizard Nassage asked me how do you do your hair and I've actually had like three other people or two other people ask me this people are always commenting on my hair I know it looks like kind of crazy right now I definitely need to get a haircut um, but people keep asking me how I do my hair so um, <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret now I'm obviously not sponsored or paid by this company at all there's two different products here that I use for my hair um, if you actually care and that is this styling cream it's called dirty it's probably not going to focus but um, it's by lush they do handmade like cosmetic stuff um, it smells like a fucking beach which is awesome like it actually smells legitimately good uh, so yeah I really like this um, and then I use to top it off after like I style it I use just like this was the first hairspray that I picked up off the shelf I don't know if it's any good but it's been good for what I've used it for so pretty much any hairspray um, this is like ultra strong hold I don't know if you guys know anything about hairspray I don't really know anything about it but um, yeah I used to use got to be glued which is a, a yellow tube of stuff and I used that for like two three years uh, but it just made my hair super stiff and I didn't like that and by the end of the day my hair would be like kind of like this where it's kind of just like normal relaxed whatever and I liked that feeling better so I wanted to find a product combination that would get my hair immediately like that for the entire day uh, and this was it so this is actually pretty expensive this little tub was like 20 bucks um, but you don't need to use that much um, like this this uh, I've done my hair like a bunch of times with this already so yeah that's how I do my hair I just like push it all up and then I flatten out the back and then I take a comb and I kind of just like comb it back a little bit and right now like I said I need a haircut so there's like all this extra shit here it starts to get fucked up but I, hey whatever see now I mess it up even more it does, it's, that doesn't matter but that's how I do it those are the products I use um, and if you don't have a lush near you I think they have a website that you can order it from uh, so yeah at Cy Shady asks, do you like Eminem yes I fucking love Eminem I've listened to him for as long as I can remember Eminem's the shit he's one of the top five greatest rappers of all time no question uh, so huge huge fan of Eminem for sure um, my boy at Cess 1212 shout out to my son he said will you ever do some competitive Call of Duty videos for either CODs on your channel um, this is a good question I likely will not and that's only because of my schedule I'm a senior in college right now I have one more semester left and this semester is gonna be my hardest one thus far so I definitely need to do well and I will not have any time for competitive um, maybe I'll have time to like jump on the competitive playlist like over break or winter break or something like that but there's no way that I'm gonna get good enough to give you guys legitimate tips um, I might be able to compile tips from people I know and make a video about the best classes that you can use that's something that I did in black ops 3 and a lot of you guys seem to like that video um, but for me personally uh, there's no way I'm going to be competitive in Infinite Warfare or Modern Warfare Remastered, but um, <clears throat> maybe I can figure out some good classes for you guys and bring that for a video, but that's probably as far as it's going to go. At LumberjackMTG asked, what kind of stick do you use to beat people away from your sexiness? Um, I don't beat them away, I just let them flock, I just let it happen, it's all good, I appreciate the love, of course, um, so anyone who, who likes, you know, my sexiness is, is, um, fine to watch from a distance, of course, so, uh, yeah. At Dislit Track asked me, will you ever do a live stream on COD? Uh, yes, I've done live streams before. They're very rare. They're few and far between. Um, and I don't do them often because like I said, my schedule is just crazy. And any time that I have that is free uh, is either way too late and people wouldn't even tune in or it's way too early. And <clears throat> yeah, so just there's no real time for me to live stream. So when I do do it, it's very rare. Um, but I have done, I've even done a live stream for Infinite Warfare already since the 
games have been out. I think I've live streamed it once or twice. Um, so yeah, I do live stream Call of Duty. It's just super rare. If you want to make sure you see when I'm live, make sure you go to the link uh, to my Twitch down below. Follow me over there. Turn on notifications so you'll know like when I do stream once every fucking i don't know six weeks or whatever I, I don't know there's no schedule i just stream whatever the fuck i want and then i spam twitter with it and if people see it they see it if not then it's over um so that's my answer to the streaming question anyway that pretty much wraps up the video you guys i got a ton of questions i did not expect to get that many questions which was absolutely awesome so if you guys enjoyed this type of video make sure you drop a thumbs up i would really really appreciate that and that lets me know that you want to see more q a type of videos in the future and uh hopefully if you are new around here you'll subscribe to my channel so you will see when i upload more more really really good content on YouTube uh, there's more to come I can't wait uh, I've actually don't tell anybody but I've been having a little bit of fun on infinite warfare playing free-for-all so we'll see maybe I'll make it through the year I'm not gonna get my hopes up but we'll, we'll see anyway that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch and I will talk to you guys again soon have a good one peace